In this video, I would like to present the course curriculum. After carefully analyzing the other courses about Canva on the platform, I really took the time to think about how I could bring something different, how I could do something that hasn't been made before with Canva. I tried to put myself in my students' shoes and really think about what is it that they want when they are buying a course about Canva. And here is what I found out. Number one, I would want to discover and learn how to use Canva, of course. Number two, I would want to be able to create documents and visuals I actually need for my business. And then number three, I would want my instructor to be a real expert in what he or she is teaching. So I really tried hard to make the best possible learning experience for you guys. I used a little bit of humor here and there to keep you awake. I used my video editing skills to make this whole thing look and sound as professional as possible. And I just hope you like it. So without further ado, this is what and how you will learn with me if you decide to buy this course. In section one, I'll explain why you need Canva. We will talk about why you should become better at design and how Canva can help you get there quicker. Section one finishes with me showing you how to create your free Canva account. Section two will cover the basics of Canva in seven lectures. I'll make sure you feel comfortable using Canva, that you understand all the buttons and functionalities and assimilate the mechanics or fundamentals of using Canva. I'll finish the section by a lecture that will help you decide whether or not you should upgrade to the paid version of Canva, Canva for Work. Section three is short, but in my opinion, crucial for the rest of this course. Indeed, in my attempt to make this course as practical as possible for you, I have decided to add this section about how to create your brand identity. It's made out of five brief lectures that will help you define your very own brand identity. We will talk about the mission, vision, target audience, brand personality, and core values of your business. Take this section very seriously. Use it to develop your brand identity and only then move on to the next section. In section four, we will actually start designing guys. But to make sure you get the best out of this course and live with the visuals you actually need for your business, I will ask you to start by designing a very specific document, your brand style guide. A brand style guide is a reference document that sums up your brand story, your logo, your color palette, your typography, imagery style, and tone of voice. It's basically the heart and soul of your brand translated into design. It contains all the information we need to create a consistent branding. As I told you, I don't want to waste your time. I want this course to be practical and to the point. So we will only be creating real documents and visuals that you will be using for your business. And for that reason, we need to start with your brand style guide. Indeed, every company that takes its marketing seriously has one and you should have one too. In section five, we will continue to design and focus on all the visuals you need for social media, like Facebook profile, Instagram quotes, YouTube thumbnails, etc., etc. The idea is to create a very consistent set of visuals for your social media based on the information we will find in your brand style guide. Section six will be all about creating similar visuals, but this time for your blog or website. I'll show you how to create hero images, all sorts of icons for your websites, featured images for your blog post, and we will also create a fun author photo. And finally, in section seven, we will create some stationaries your business needs, like letterheads, custom envelopes, and business cards. So by the time you finish this course, you will one, understand how to use Canva for all your design needs. Number two, you will have your very own brand style guide that will ensure consistency across all your design projects. And number three, you will have all the necessary visuals and documents you need to start communicating with your brand. 